Oh, let me make sure my camera looking good. All right, man. Um. Hi. Now I'm fucking. I'm looking. Let's get. Let's jump into it. Yeah. What up, gang? What up, squad? It's your boy. Are you serious? The realistic, coolest, the realest young king on the YouTube platform as we speak. Welcome back to the late banger, man. All right, man. Fuck with the intro. The intro. You know what I'm saying? But we got August the Duck, the Mighty Ducks, back in the building, man. Go check out his channel if you haven't. Got some great content. But we got TikTok fitness guru. Drinks his own piss, man. God damn it. Why am I reacting to this? Why? Why? Oh, why? <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and check it out, man. If you're new, subscribe, like the video, comment some more bangers. Um, like, comment, share all the good stuff. My name is Are You Theories. I react to any and all content. Comment what you want me to react to. We own it. Let's get it. I don't discriminate. This is aged urine. This is about six months. It's got that nice brown tint to it. Nice. Well, guys, it's going to be one of those days. Every now and then. Oh, my God. <laughs> and on this channel, we take a step out of the comfort zone of our normal, pretty low stakes, lighthearted content. And we look at something truly horrific. If you clicked on this video and are now watching it, I'm going to assume that means you read the title. And from that, I'm going to infer that you have figured out that that comfort zone is now far behind us. People do stupid shit on the internet for all different kinds of reasons. Attention, money, views, clicks, likes, whatever. Now this is nothing whatever. new necessarily, but it feels like people doing extremely stupid or controversial things on the internet for some sort of personal oh gain God. has gotten a lot more popular over the last few years. Back in the golden days of <laughs> YouTube, people did stupid shit all the time. No denying that. But I feel like most of the time, time it was just to go viral on YouTube. That was the reason. These days, however, it seems like a lot of people will sit down and in brainstorming how to market themselves or market a product, their first idea is always let's make a video that draws attention to me by having the video make the viewer think, my god, that is the most insane and or stupid person I have ever seen in my entire life. If you're a person who spends a lot of time on social media, especially Twitter, you will know that rage baiting and engagement farming is at the highest point it has ever been, ever. Over the last year or so, Twitter has genuinely become unusable because about 20 to 30% of tweets, I would say, are nothing but the most obvious rage bait you've ever seen that somehow hundreds of thousands of people fall for, and the other 70 or 80% of tweets are just big accounts reposting the same shit over and over again for engagement. With the internet being as big as it is today, you don't really need to form an audience to make money. All you've really got it. But it's best if you're trying to make it longevity. Longevity is the key. You need an audience. To do is stir the pot enough to have enough people looking at your stuff to where advertisers think it's worth putting their ads on your content. And boom, you're making money. And making a few controversial tweets or controversial videos that blow up is a lot easier than slowly building a community around your content. Now, why are we talking about this? Well, because the other day I saw the most egregious example of this I think I have ever seen. The man you've been seeing in the background is a TikToker who goes by the name of Certified health nut. And if you've been watching these videos and paying any attention to them, you might be thinking, well, this guy <clears throat> seems relatively normal. And you're right, he does. Which is why the main event of today's video is so concerning. Now, if you have a weak stomach, or, you know, just don't like to see men drink old piss, if you're a prude or something, I guess, <laughs> maybe skip ahead a little bit, do yourself a favor. But for the rest of us, uh, well, you clicked on the video. He warned y'all. I'm ready. Yeah, let's Bye. begin. Please subscribe. This is aged urine. This is about six months. It's got that nice brown tint to it. And then, of course, oof. Gnarly. Smells like ammonia. There's something uh -oh. about the way this guy talks that makes this video about 7,000 times funnier. He's describing this old jar of piss like an antique. Or like he's at a whiskey tasting or something. Yeah, this is some fine six-month aged urine straight from the old cock. Got that nice brown color that you're really looking for with your urine. Got that nigga said cock. 
Got a good foam layer on top, that's where all the flavor lives, baby. This is akin to picking up your shit with your own two hands and describing it like fine dining. The research that I've shown is it's good for parasites, it's good for your gut microbiome. Hmm, who would have thunk that drinking what is basically a jar of bleach might be good for killing parasites? Uh... Buddy, I'm assuming you're standing in your backyard. Looks like you can afford to go to a fucking doctor if you're worried about a parasite. So of course, you can drink a little bit and see what happens. <clears throat> But what, the way I like to use it, ultimately, is topically. The best way to make extra money in 2024 is by not delivering... What is wrong with this nigga, man? ...or mowing your neighbor's lawn. So you put a little bit in your hand there, and then you just rub it on your skin. Alright, so that's the entire video, and... Now, I, I would understand if that was that. You know what I'm saying? The... Uh, I'll, I'll, you know, put that on your skin, make your skin glow a little bit. But you're in, bro. Come on. You know what? I think it's fake. Which I think is really important for what we're going to be talking about today. But there are cuts both when he drinks the urine and when he pours it onto his hands. Why would you do that unless you weren't actually drinking it? I was thinking about that. I was thinking about them. Like, why a cut? Or you weren't actually putting it on your hand. As a YouTuber, bro, you see these things. I remember I used to didn't know what a cut was. They'd be like, you see the cut right there? It cut from here. I'm like, nigga, where? What? What am I seeing? Now I see this shit without even thinking it's, about it. It's suspicious. So, why would somebody fake a video like this? Well, I think the obvious answer is because of what's happening right now. Crazy controversial videos of stuff like you drinking old urine gets people talking a lot quicker and a lot more than videos about somewhat sensible nutritional advice. <clears throat> if I came across this guy's page before he made this video, I would never think twice about it. Do I think he buys into some kind of weird stuff? Yes. He's part of the whole anti-dairy, anti-gluten stuff. But I went through his TikTok page and a lot of the advice he gives is pretty basic stuff, but it's decent advice. It's not enough to be like, this guy's insane. But when you start drinking jars of old piss, that's when you get that label and that's when people who don't care about nutrition start talking about you. Because now they don't have to talk about nutrition in order to talk about you. They can just talk about a crazy old guy drinking piss. It widens your audience <laughs> immensely. I myself had never heard of this guy before and then about a week ago I saw this video on Twitter. It wasn't until yesterday or the day before that I was going through my bookmarks that I saw that I saved this. I think I may have tried to erase this from my memory but this video did exactly what this guy thought it was going to do. At worst he had to drink a sip of old piss and rub some old piss on his face but he likely just got a jar of stuff that looked funky and then acted like he drank it and acted like he put it on his face and he has successfully gotten his name out to hundreds of thousands of new people with a 30 second video. Why is this wow. important? Well, because it's probably going to be what ruins social media, at least for a little bit. Like I said earlier, Twitter has already been completely destroyed by stuff like this. The amount of tweets I see on a daily basis that are the most obvious rage bait ever, that get thousands of people worked up in responding to them, are insane. I don't know if people are just getting dumber, but it's crazy <laughs> how we're kind of dumber. going backwards here. Stuff like this, videos that people should see and instantly know they were made for nothing but shock value are being taken 100% seriously. Why I say we're going backwards here is because this sort of reminds me of tabloid journalism. You know those stupid magazines you see when you're checking out of the grocery store that say, Gosh, oh my shit. god, Prince Harry fucked a scarecrow or something. <laughs> These days, I don't think a single person takes anything those magazines say seriously. Maybe a small percentage of people still <clears throat> do, but it's died down a lot. People have learned just because it's printed it doesn't mean it's true. And I feel like we're going to have to go through a learning period over the next three, four, five years or so, where people have to learn this in a different format. Just because it's been tweeted, just because there's a video of it, doesn't mean it's true. Digital literacy is getting better, but I think the rate is still one in five Americans are digitally illiterate, which I would Dang, say kind of seems low for the kind of stuff I see on Twitter, but I have to remind myself quite frequently <laughs> these days that Twitter is not real life. But the reason I want to well, I don't even like uh, my Twitter is full of not good stuff. So like, I totally get what he's saying. But I mean, what was Twitter really for? Just to tell how you feel. That's all I seen years ago. Niggas just talking about what they're doing, all this other bullshit. Like you know, just like Facebook, you can go anywhere to do that. 
wanted to talk about this is because with all of these people getting kind of exactly what they wanted, like I was saying earlier, the internet is so big these days that if you do something crazy enough, you're basically guaranteed to go viral. It makes me kind of concerned for the upcoming generation. What's going to happen when a bunch of young, impressionable kids see that if you do something crazy enough, a lot of people will give you attention? This question, this problem, is really nothing new. I can think back to all the stupid challenges that were around when I was younger, but I feel like the go viral quick challenge. methods of 10 years ago versus the go viral quick methods of today are drastically different. It used to be you just shoveled a spoonful of cinnamon down your throat and- That's crazy. I just said the cinnamon challenge. Y'all heard me. I just said the cinnamon challenge, then he say the same thing. Cough for a minute, boom, you're famous. But now you've got to be willing to go out and post criminally stupid tweets or go do things in public that will follow you for the rest of your life. Not to say people didn't used to do those things either, but I feel like it was kind of reserved for people who were doing crazy shit anyways. But this video is of an older man who has made very laid back normal content forever and then one day just decides to drink piss. It's <laughs> clearly spreading and I'm not going to try and be the hero here and say we need to stand up as a society and stop rewarding these people. We can't watch these videos. We can't make them go viral. We've got to be the change. We can't reward this behavior. Because let's get real. That's never going to happen. You say, hey man, want to see a video of a guy drinking piss? I'm going to be like, hell yeah I do. <laughs> the change has got to come within. Which is why I would like to say to anybody who's considering doing something like this to try and go viral, I promise you, it's not worth it because one of three things are going to happen. One, and probably the most likely, either you're not going to go viral at all, or you're going to go viral in like a niche community on Twitter where a few thousand people see your video and nothing happens. Two, you do go viral and nothing ever comes of it after that. You've now just got a viral video of you on the internet doing something insanely stupid and you have nothing to show for it. Or three, you do manage to go viral and somehow build a following, a following of people who expect you to do that stupid shit for the rest of your life otherwise they're gonna stop watching you unless you want to be a jag dope bro i'm telling you that's what i'm saying like this shit the, the way i'm take the route i'm taking is the scenic route bro it's it's taking it's gonna take me a while like i'm not doing nothing wild i'm just sitting here doing reactions you know some people may think oh you just stealing content you just you but i offer my opinion on, on a lot of different things you know what i'm saying and actually people a lot a lot of people care about my opinion you know what i'm saying and um but and I know I could easily do something stupid. I got kids, I could do wild shit, like you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, man, but am I gonna be able to keep that up for how long? You know what I'm saying? This reaction shit in ten years, I'm gonna be sitting here doing the same shit. I mean obviously I'm a bigger fan base, you know, I'm gonna have a lot more stuff going on, you know, it'll be pretty much just for fun. But I could do it. I could do this when I'm fifty. I could do this whenever. Sit in the chair and react to shit crazy, stupid watch. The people that's trying to make themselves famous by doing stupid shit, I get to watch that and react to that and make money off that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I, I'm. It is what it is. I, you know, I, I totally get what he's trying to say, bro. Don't just try to get famous for a minute. You know, you gotta make that shit last. Wordy or a neon or a Johnny Somali kind of guy, nothing good will come out of you trying to get famous through this method. If you really want to be an internet figure, if you really want to do content creation for a living, do it organically. There's no replacement for it. Well, guys, what do you think? Will videos like this eventually be seen similarly to those crazy grocery store tabloids? Or do we have a bigger your problem on our hands. I, for one, could not possibly care any less whether or not an old man drinks piss to try and promote his digital <laughs> brand, but with most kids having unrestricted internet access these days, I do think this could have a pretty big effect on the youth. Is worrying about shit like this what being an adult feels like? If you enjoyed this video, please... <laughs> Worry about another, another grown man drinking piss. He says that what life is about. Wow. Wow! All right, man. Um, y'all put y'all comments in the comment section, man. Y'all think this? Y'all think he really drinking piss? And y'all tell me like, what? What? What the hell? I don't know why this shit popped up. Um, something popped up on my computer. I hope y'all probably saw that shit. Um, anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, y'all tell me if y'all if if he really drunk piss. And is that a dumb way to go viral? Or what's a good way to go viral? Is it to do something, you know, that you can actually, in, you know, make a good name for yourself and people actually follow you? Or doing stupid-ish and trying to keep doing stupid-ish. 
And when, when you wake up one day, you're going to be 30, like, damn. I don't want to do this no more. I got a family. <laughs> you know, I got a daughter right here. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Anyway, man, um, subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Check out August the Ducks channel, and um, also check out my channel. Nay, nay, what are you doing? You gonna tell the, you gonna tell us bye? Uh oh, it's okay. Um, what, 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 what does how how does that do me when my mama house? Oh, nay. We're going to go to Mermaid House soon, okay? Don't no, cry. Mama. They don't want to see you cry. They want to see you happy. Can you say bye? Bye. Oh, nay, nay. <laughs> Good job, Tay. Give your daddy a kitty. Thank you. All right, guys. We gone.